it's a little better. But if I keep going back, sooner or later, you're going to find the stretcher for Shushu Shibugi. Hey everyone, Signal here. I'm going to show you a bass line that dates back to like the 1940s. Um, it's a lower corny, so I'm going to show you how to make it interesting for modern day. It is like 80 years old. It's a real simple structure that you can write variations on for your whole life. Here we go. So. So let's just draw that in. And this is just a simple FM bass with some filter movement. And then I have a second sine layer on top, tuned an octave up. This works for me when it comes to writing like simple catchy power chord structures right so i'm just going to take this move it up to f and then you can see everything's still in key We have a one, a three, a five, so that's a C chord, and then we have an octave. So you can see how we go through this pentatonic thing and then non pentatonic note, right? Pentatonic, non pentatonic. Same thing F, A, C, F, and then here's a relative six. So let's just write a new bass line by changing this pattern right here. I'm going to move this to a seventh. Same thing with this. All right, let's make everything minor. Let's grab those seven. Come on, wait. wait. I actually don't like the minor seventh as much. Let's go back to All right, let's put it in minor and use the minor six. All right, so let's duplicate it and play eight notes like that. So this could probably be a little more tense. Let's try something like this. All right, let's just put this at 170. Yep, 
there it is. Yep, there it is. That's a nice one. Do that. So I got rid of the third. I replaced it with the root. And then I got rid of the last beat to give it some, like, Jane. So let's put that back into a major key just so I can make my point, you know? We're going to leave that C sharp for fun. You know, let's just repeat this a bunch. You can see I still got this pentatonic thing going on, that skeleton of a structure inside of the scale. So we make it minor again. And again, I prefer the D sharp, D e flat. So let's 
an E, or excuse me, with the long C. All right, that's not bad. So let's duplicate that and then delete this. Bring the octave into it. Kind of cool. It's almost something. So let's duplicate it. Move it up to an F. Move this down. That's cool. All right, so let's take the sits. That's crucial. That's our tension. Let's just move all this up to a, well, let's move this one up to a five. Okay. It's a little better. But if I keep going back, sooner or later, you're going to find the structure for Shushu Shibugi. And that's really what I do as a guitarist. If you're a pianist, get some Boogie Woogie, but I don't care about Boogie Woogie. I, I hope no one asks me to Woogie ever. Okay, that's all for today. Like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know if you want to see more lessons like this.